Let's just start with this uh, line segment here to demonstrate. And we're gonna divide it into, let's just say, three congruent pieces or parts. So the first thing you wanna do in this construction is you want to draw another line, okay, using uh, one of the endpoints. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line like this. And I'm gonna divide this line up into three parts. Now, if I wanted to divide this up into four parts, I would divide this uh, line into four parts and so on. So let's go ahead and divide up into three congruent parts. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up the compass, okay, and we're gonna draw three arcs along this ray. So one, two, three. Okay, so you're with me so far? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line segment from this point here to this end point here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so there you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw lines that are parallel to this initial line here. So we're gonna parallel through this point parallel through this point, and that's gonna subdivide this line up into three congruent pieces. So the key to doing this construction, if you've seen some of my other construction videos, is you wanna copy this angle uh, over onto here, and you do the same thing here onto this one. So you're basically you're copying this angle, and this is using the uh, corresponding angles converse theorem. Basically, if the corresponding angles are congruent, then you know the lines are gonna be uh, parallel. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna copy the angle here, so let's go ahead and uh, draw that in. So we've got one, I'm gonna use this point over here, and two, and over up here, three. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the compass as a measuring tool to measure the distance from this point here to this point here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have to change the how open it is. And I just make a little mark here to show that I did that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and copy that angle. So I'm just gonna make a little mark like so, and same thing over here, like so. Now all we have to do is draw a line through this point and this point, this point and this point, and we've got, we've got our parallel lines. So let me see if I can do that accurately here for us. So we've got, there you go, and uh, there you go. So you can see now, this segment is congruent to this segment, is congruent to this segment. That was our original segment that we were trying to subdivide into three pieces. So I hope this helped you understand how to uh, subdivide a segment into congruent parts uh, using constructions. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and uh, check out some more construction videos on my YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you in uh, future videos. I'll talk to you soon.